Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa from Tessa's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Now let's get into this. So y'all, I've been a little under the weather, so I didn't, I didn't read. And you know now, everything is about COVID, so thinking woman on the bottom of the deck. Everything's about COVID. So of course I went and got tested, <clears throat> but I don't have COVID, so just maybe a cold or something. I don't know. I'm feeling a little better. It started like Tuesday evening. So I don't like to touch the cards when I'm not feeling my best patience. So I feel like with thinking woman, to me, that's like somebody who's doing affirmations or thinking the thoughts that they want to create or the, or the thoughts that they want to show up in their reality. Okay. I feel like somebody here is being patient or patience is going to be required. Okay. Standing firm and being patient is going to be required here. One more. Attachment. I don't like that attachment card. Bottom of the deck, man holding a card. I mean, man holding a heart. I don't too tough dig that attachment. Not. Hmm. We'll see. So for some of you guys, there's a man here who has an attachment to you. Or has an see whenever I see this card, especially with the five here, which is about instabilities and difficulties and stuff like that, conflict. I feel like this is somebody who wants to chain you to them. Okay. Whenever I see this card, I always feel like the devil card here. Nine and five. Maybe somebody you work with, you're nine to five with, or something like that. Maybe, maybe that's how you met this person. I don't like this. I don't like this. Um, this may be somebody that you've exercised patience with. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. I want to know about this attachment. Clarify this attachment. I'm a deck to a cups. So this is somebody who I feel like has a strong attachment to you. They feel like you are their soulmate. Okay. Two of cups, cancer energy. I'm trying to find this attachment. This is somebody who wants to keep you stuck to them. Okay. This is somebody who wants to keep you stuck to them. This is also somebody who. This is also somebody who you may have this eight of swords, Gemini energy, nine of swords, Taurus, Gemini energy. This is somebody who I feel like has an anger issue also, or they may be angry for some reason because you may be trying to detach from them. Okay. Or you may have told them that it's over or something like that. Five and five, there's a five here and a five here. I just don't like that attachment. Not not in this scenario. I don't like that attachment. Clarify the man holding the heart. Wow. There he is. 
This is somebody who wants to be in control and have over, in control over you in this situation. See, I feel like you're trying to, so for some of my viewers, they're actually trying to manifest their person. But for others of you guys, there there are you, are, are you guys who are trying to get away from this person. And I feel like this person is trying to trap you. I feel like they, I feel like they want to be in control. This is somebody who may very well have an anger issue because that Knight of Swords is somebody who comes in angrily. By my deck, Queen of Cups, Gemini, Cancer Energy. You may be, you may intuitively know or feel what this person's intentions are. Could be dealing with an Aries here with this Emperor card. But this is somebody who wants to be in control or control the situation. Give me more on this man holding a heart. Absolutely. This person is going to come in towards you and offer you an offer, a make a love offer with this Knight of Cups in reverse. Because bottom of the deck, Five of Swords. 555 five, five is out here. Okay. This is about instability and challenges, conflict. This person, to them, this is a game that they're playing and they want to win. This is somebody who will do whatever to win. Okay. So I get the sense that you are, you have been kind of, you've been <coughs> maybe avoiding this person or you've been, you've rejected this person in some way. To them, that has activated some kind of game for them where it's almost like, oh, you think you can, you think that you can beat me or you think that you don't have to do what I say or stuff like, or, or something like that, right? Five of Swords, Aquarius Energy. This is somebody who plays the win. I feel like this is also somebody where love is a game to them or, or, or it has become a game to them, okay? It's become a game to them. Clarify this five of swords. Okay. I feel like this person feels that but I'm gonna deck seven of swords. But I'm gonna deck the moon card. I feel like unknowingly to them, you have created you by the fact that you've rejected them, you've unknowingly activated like them wanting to fight like like this is a fight now okay pisces energy seven of wands leo energy they feel justified in what they're doing or what they're gonna do okay libra uh, energy here with this justice card this may be also somebody that you're trying to get away from um maybe like i keep saying because divorce keep coming up this may be also somebody that um you may be going through a divorce from or some kind of separation some kind of legal separation but the fact that you've rejected them has activated this fight energy, okay? This is somebody who wants to possess you, wants to trap you, okay? I don't like this. If this is if this is your person, if this is your story, and this is your person, there are see, I don't tell y'all, I, I and I just tell y'all what y'all can do, okay? How powerful you are and what you can do. I would never tell anybody to try and manifest somebody back who is abusive, physically abusive, okay, or sexually abusive, abusive in any way. Now, can you manifest a new version of them, the version of them that you want? You absolutely can, but I'm not going to tell anybody to do that, okay, um, because it just makes it... Once somebody has abused you in that way, it's hard to let go of that old story, okay? I feel like this is somebody that has that has the propensity to be abusive, okay, because of the control issues. This is somebody who has the propensity to be abusive. Okay. I don't I don't like this energy here. Clarify patience. Four Swords, Libra Energy. Mm. I feel like this person is planning and he and they're doing it patiently. Okay. I feel like I feel like this person is um I feel like this person may be laying low. You may not have even heard from this person in a while, okay? This person is making sure to keep their emotions in check. Okay, with this King of Cups energy. Hold on, y'all. Scorpio Libra energy, okay? 
this person, I feel like this person has been laying low. You may not even have heard anything from them. They're being very patient about their next moves. Okay, with this Ace of Wands. Fire energy. Clarify this Ace of Wands. Hmm. Yeah. Also, they may be biding their time because the Judgment card is about uh, wanting a second chance. So this person may be laying low and biding their time until when they come back and make this offer. Oh, hey, you know, we're coming up on Valentine's Day, so that could be very much be the day. But I feel like this person is laying low, biding their time, making sure to keep their emotions under control. OK, <clears throat> so you may not have even heard from this person, but just because you ain't heard from them do not mean that they're not planning, planning, plotting. It doesn't mean that. OK, this person just isn't saying anything. Clarify the thinking woman. For some of you guys, some of you guys are dating someone else and this activated that, okay? Some of y'all have, have, have dated, have started dating someone else and you feel like it has long-term potential. King of Wands out here, Leo Cancer Energy, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. So for some of y'all, this is what activated this because you started dating somebody else. Let me move on this thinking woman. They may have found out the truth, okay, about you being with somebody else. Yeah. They 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 know that you're dating somebody else, okay? They know that you're dating somebody else. Oh, yeah. And, shh, okay. Okay. I said this, y'all. Okay. Be very careful of this person. I'm going to say this right now. Be careful of this person. This person feels like you may be being sexual with this person. OK, that you've coupled up or start to work with somebody else. OK, this person may also feel like that is moving very fast, that you're moving very quickly towards a commitment. Some of you guys have already may have made a major commitment with this person, especially with this Ten of Pentacles out here. This person may feel like you moved on very quickly with another energy, Aries energy here. OK. Um. Keep your guard up with, with this person. Keep your guard up with this person. Keep your guard up with this person. Keep your guard up with this person. <clears throat> Keep your guard up with this person. Okay. Keep your guard up with this person. Um. I feel like there there are things, I feel like this person is planning things behind the scenes that you don't see. Like this person, you may not have heard from this person, so you may think it's okay that this person has moved on or whatever. Not the case. Not the case. Okay? Not the case. Bottom of the deck, Empress Energy. This person sees you as an Empress. This person sees you. Okay? So this person feels like you cut them off okay queen of swords energy libra virgo energy that has stressed them out made them anxious this person saw ten of pentacles with you i mean i'm sorry ten of cups with you pisces energy this nine of swords gemini energy and they feel like the empress turned their back okay three of wands aries energy this is not for people who are actually manifesting the person back this is for you for you guys that have actually rejected this person and you don't want this person this is for y'all who be in my comments talking about you know you don't want them and this is for y'all okay bottom of the deck page of swords this person is watching i feel like they're watching and waiting for the person perfect time to come towards you and apologize okay but i also feel like this is somebody who had you in a third party and the light was shown on that activity okay three of swords libra energy the hermit uh virgo energy i feel like this time you used your mind Okay, thinking woman and the hermit are very wise energies. So I feel like you used your your head over heart um, this time with this person and decide to move away from this person. This person, be careful with this person. 
that page of cups at the bottom of the deck and this knight of cups, this person is going to come towards you offering you, okay? They're going to come towards you offering you. They're going to come towards you offering you two of cups. This person feels like you're their soulmate, okay? But their intention is to trap you. Their intention is to keep you bound to them, okay? The, the, and their intention is to wrap you up, okay? That is their intention. I mean, look. This is somebody who is very attractive with this man holding his heart. This is somebody who is very alluring, very attractive, very passionate and sexual looking. I feel like this is somebody who is good in the sex department. This is somebody that knows how to have sex. This is somebody who knows how to please a person. This is somebody who you are very sexual, compa sexually compatible with. And I feel like if you sleep with them, I'm not telling you what to do, but I feel like if you sleep with them, that is their way to get back to you. Okay. If that, like to them, if I can just get this person in the bed, then I could do what I do. Okay. I feel like this person is really here emotionally. This person really feels like this emotionally. Okay. Out of control emotionally very obsessive emotionally very aggressive emotionally but they're putting on they're intentionally calming their emotions they're being patient about the way that they go about this okay because they see that they, they they see that they have to come at you in a different way when you look at this attachment card that is a mask this person is this is what they really feel like this is what they're showing they're being very calm. So you may have ran into this person and they're being very calm and you're like, that's not like them. It is not. Okay. It's not. Get a few more. What's the energy around Gemini? This person. See, bottom of the deck, you kicked them to the curb. And like I said, when you did that, you created insecurities in this person, okay? I feel like with that Three of Swords card out there, this person was caught. You caught this person finding evidence, getting caught cheating, okay? You caught this person and you walked away from this person, okay? And you don't, don't want to deal with them no more. Some of you guys may have children together and the co-parenting is not going well. Okay, with that parenting in reverse, the co-parenting is not going well, or this person may be refusing to parent, you know, pay child support, that kind of thing. What else is going on with Gemini? With this court situation here, there may be, um, this, this person may be not allowed to see the kids or something like that. <clears throat> I feel like somebody here is stressed out due to work, very, very busy or always in a rush. Okay, that may be your energy. What's just going on with Gemini and this person? So this person knows that they fucked up. They very well know that they fucked up. And I feel like this, I, I feel like they're desperate at this point. I feel like they may have easily been able to get, get you back in the past, but I feel like it's, you're done. For whoever this is, you are done. And some of y'all are so done and have moved on and started dealing with somebody else. And they don't like that. Okay. What else? Sick. I feel like this person is sick over the fact that family time in reverse, sick over the fact that, so this is like 10 of cups in reverse to me. They're sick over the fact that they feel like they've lost their family. And again, with private relationship at the bottom of the deck, they know that you're in a different relationship. Their thoughts are spiraling out of control. This, this is very dark thoughts. Okay. Very dark thoughts here spiraling out of control so they're spiraling about what what it is that you could be possibly have going on with this person like i said with this ten of pentacles you could very well see long term with, with this other person or you may have moved towards that you may have moved in with this person we've seen four of wands up there they feel like you moved on very quickly in this situation what's going on with gemini and this person this didn't turn into a love reading. 
promiscuous sleeps around a whole free for all sleeps with your man so this person oh yeah i'm gonna leave it right here bottom of the deck divorce executing contract like i said some of y'all are going through a divorce with this person this person doesn't want the divorce this person feels like you're being promiscuous that's what it, what i saw with that four of wands and that knight of wands this person feels like you're being promiscuous this may be, be what they're telling other people about you doesn't have to be true okay doesn't have to be true but be careful of this person because it's like they're in a very desperate energy now they don't they don't know what else to do to get you back but i'm gonna tell you what you've activated this you have activated this okay in this person seven of wands leo energy five of swords aquarius energy you've activated that in in, in this person okay so gemini i hope this reading was helpful for you go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out for all your coffee and glam needs visit www.theglamcafe.com if you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.